from the crack of the open door, we hear footsteps running towards our class. This is 50 pounds of sand. This is another 150 pounds of sand. That is 200 pounds of sand that I will be using to turn my room into a beach on twitch.com slash Stanley Animations. Because for the next seven days, I'll literally be doing everything and anything within my power to be as entertaining as possible. Starting with turning my room into a beach and as soon as this video is done i'll be live on twitch.com slash stanley animations okay bye enjoy the video bye i'm sorry i'm sorry i stole from my teacher every day for 137 days and what happens at the end of this video ended up changing my life for the next 10 years now this isn't just some like coincidence or some random targeting that i was doing this was a planned heist with emotional meaning behind it i had a vendetta i had an mo i had a reason as to why I wanted to rob my teacher, Mrs. Adams, 137 times. But robbing someone that many times does not only take a unique level of hating, it also takes an elite level of planning. And I would need a team of people around me who equally hated Mrs. Adam like I did. So that was the first major hurdle. And y'all are probably wondering, Stanley, why do you hate this teacher so much? What could she possibly have done to you to literally make you befriend her ops well mrs adams is actually the same teacher from the she ruined my school life video the same teacher that helped a student steal my test from me and i'm not saying she hates black people i'm just saying i've never heard her say blm and frankly that's all i need so after she gave my property to an unmelanated woman like black wall street i knew for a fact that it would be the last day the the last day where I was a victim to the system. I was on my way to leading a revolution in our classroom. Call me W.E.B. because it was time to round up the boys. I go and I recruit my homie Trey and my homie Parker. Trey was black. Parker was light skinned. That's not really important. It's just if anyone had a high chance of compromising this mission, it was Parker because he frankly already plays for both sides. So I gathered them up and I'm explaining to them on like a lunch table with paper and drawings on how this whole thing is going down. Mrs. Adam has a room in the classroom. It's like this long storage office that was shared between two classrooms. And towards the back of the room, there's a shelf full of everything teachers use for day-to-day -day lessons. Geometry shapes, calculators, rulers, pencils, protractors. But that's not what we're there for. Towards the back, there's a table. And under the table, Mrs. Adam has a fat stash of every candy you could possibly imagine sitting in a container for when kids get 100% A's on tests, quizzes, or homework. So our goal was to continuously steal it without Mrs. Adams knowing we were taking the candy right from under her nose. But that type of heist needs a high level of organization, a high level of precision because this isn't just a one and done mission. This isn't a pickup basketball game. It's the big league. So I start handing out roles. Parker, codenamed Half and Half, he's the informant. He does all the floor work. His job is to keep Mrs. Adams happy and to keep her off of our trail. Trey, his codename was Big Trey. I know it's not that discreet, but it's bold. I like it. His job was dirty work. He opens the door to the room. He keeps track of who's walking by. If there's a problem, he solves it. And if there's a trespasser, he solves it. JK, we didn't kill anybody. And then there's me, Stanley. Code name, pack it up. Not because it's a good code name, but if anybody was calling my name for any reason anyways, it would be to pack up everything and get out of the building. My job is simple, okay? I go in her office, I stuff my pockets with candy, and after school, when the coast is clear, I split up the candy 20, 20, and 60. I get a bigger cut because it's my plan and I'm in the hot seat. Plus, if anything goes south, I know they are gonna fold. Them boys about as solid as a long distance relationship. So the next day, we 
actuate the plan and the plan goes like this our classroom had lunch at 12 30. before we go to lunch we all had to line up in a single file line and the teacher walks the students out of the classroom here's where the plan goes into effect mrs adam always tells the last student to make sure to shut the door because before she leaves the classroom she locks it with the key that's on her keychain but since we can't steal the key that just means we gotta leave the door open so parker he's the line leader he keeps mrs adams distracted and trey he's at the back of the line and he puts an eraser between the door so that even though she locked it it stays open because it never shuts and me i'm in the middle of the line blending in this isn't my time to shine yet so boom we go into the cafeteria and the teachers are either eating at the teacher's lunch table area or they're standing on the walls of the cafeteria so parker goes and chats up mrs adams on the wall me and trey make way like we were going to the bathroom on hallway b side and for a quick explanation on the layout our school had two main hallways with two smaller hallways connecting them in the middle think of it like two capital h's stacked on top of each other our class was in hallway a so we walk all the way around the inside of the building get to our class reach for the door and it's perfect the eraser held up exactly how it was supposed to trey and i go inside the room and head directly to the candy closet lunch is only like 15 to 20 minutes long and we already spent like 13 minutes between waiting in line eating and walking over here so we gotta get it and leave quick so trey heads to the door of the indoor office he puts his hand on the door handle turns it and click the door opens i go inside and take one scoop of candy we leave the office closet we leave the room trey takes the eraser and the rest is history perfect heist for 137 days straight trey was efficient parker was so close with mrs adam you would have thought that they were dating well um <clears throat> and i'm in and out of there in like 10 seconds it's like clockwork every time supply gets low mrs adam goes and buys another bag of candy to refill it ah i was eating so good that my cavities had cavities it's so routine it got easy me and trey could get out of the classroom in like 10 seconds we started leaving from lunch later and later and later but who cares if you only have a minute until lunch ends when you only need a second so we pull up to the class madly trey heads to the first door puts his hands on the knob turns it click it opens go to the office door trey puts his hands on the knob turns it and click 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 damn it the door won't open what the door it, what, it won't what do you open mean I, the I door i'm trying to, i'm trying to tell you i don't know what to move, tell you bro. i got it move i try and open the door and it is not opening it's not even budging she must have noticed and put a lock on the door yeah that's that's what i'm thinking we should probably go back what what are you doing here? No. If she locked the door, then maybe there's a key somewhere. This nigga Trey is in the teacher's desk looking for her key. I'm like, buddy, we gotta go. He's not even listening to me. So now I'm helping him dig through her stuff, but I didn't sign up for this. I'm over here moving lip gloss and hair bands around with way too many hair follicles in them. She should really get that checked out. And then from the crack of the open door, we hear footsteps running towards our class. Me and Trey close everything. We look at the door if that's the teacher approaching we would be caught red-handed and as the door slowly opens we hear yo guys mrs adams not at lunch I, I can't find her that's ggs because she definitely knows that we're stealing and she definitely knows it's during lunch so we put everything back we leave the classroom we run back to lunch after lunch we all head back to the classroom and before mrs adam says a single word she walks over to her closet looks at the handle then she walks to her desk looks at the desk and then says i know someone in this classroom has been stealing from the closet and whoever this person is i advise you to stop if you don't i won't be calling your parents the first person i will be calling is the cops do i make myself clear she did not blink she did not look around she did not break eye contact with me she said that whole thing looking directly at 
me and ignored Parker and Trey. I went on a diet after that. I ain't even like candy that much for real. So Mrs. Adam, I hereby call a truce. You know, you let that girl steal my paper and I stole your candy for 137 days straight. And if you, yes, you watching this video, don't know what paper I'm even talking about, then watch this video right here. It's like the prelude to this story. But with that being said, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I would never steal again. It's a wrap. Fade to black.